Okay, so what we have here, this is a Chevy alternator. It's from the old Cavalier. This one was actually, this alternator was actually pulsating just a little bit. Uh, probably means that the voltage regulator was getting weak on it. Maybe the uh, brushes were about to go out or something like that, but it will work for this. Now what I've done, I took the pulley and the nut off of this and took the nut that came off of this also and welded them both together to make a little coupler. So what we're going to do, put this on, down like about there, and then, now this is not a practical alternator for this because I'll show you why. Okay, to lock them together, I'll grab it with the vice grips, hold the shaft of the alternator, spin this pulley until they are both locked together. Okay, really the only reason I have this mount on there is just to show you it is possible to use a regular alternator with this setup. It will work, it will make power. Now that you've seen the setup for the alternator, this orange wire right here, if you check under the hood of your car and you put a meter on that, when you turn your key on, you'll see that there's 12 volts on this orange wire. Okay. So in order to charge, to make it charge batteries, you can put a switch in the line here or whatever you wanted to do. But in order to make it charge batteries, you would want to connect the hot or 12 volts from the battery which these jumper cables are going to go to the battery over here okay now this is jumped straight across so whenever I hook the battery up or hook these cables up to the battery this will have 12 volts going from here into here. And that will energize the uh, field. Okay, now. Should have energized the field. There we go. It's energized. So, as we spin the wheel, we should be charging. Right? Okay, now, I've got the camera focused on the meter itself. And we're going to hook up the field. Okay, now you can already see the field is pulling power from that battery. That is one part of using a regular alternator that is a problem. Because you're going to be pulling power out of your battery just to energize the field. Yeah, you'll be making it back up by the rotation of the alternator, but you're losing some efficiency by using the 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 stock alternator in its factory configuration so all right let's do some wheel spinning and see if we can get any power out of this all right i know y'all can see the uh meter 
now and you can see the wheel right here and you'll be able to tell when it's turning now uh, it won't start charging right away I have to get it up to speed first so give me a second let me start spinning the wheel here I can see the meter now Okay, I think it's charging now. Okay, there we go. I'll keep going faster. You can see how fast the wheel's turning. Charging the battery by just rotating the wheel. And I don't have to rotate it fast either. And it's got its automatic voltage regulation, so it keeps it within the charging voltage. Okay, that, ba that battery has got a little bit of charge in it now. All right. All right, now, that shows that I can use a alternator, unmodified. It would work to charge batteries. Uh, the only problem would be the batteries would have to be right beside of the wheel. It would have to be pretty close anyway. You wouldn't be able to get any distance away and the wheel is not going to be right beside the cabin so i need to get the energy to the cabin and then convert it and do all that so you can get these alternators all day for thirty dollars they're cheap the connections are really simple you can have your battery right beside of it to charge that would be the simplest setup that you could have uh, no modifications easily changeable you know you can easily change it out um, that's a, that will be the problem with the PMA you can buy them they're expensive pretty expensive or you can just make one out of an existing alternator that's what we're going to do uh, this is what I did with the other one that I had in my other water wheel and it worked for a long time. In fact, I don't think it ever actually, I don't think the alternator ever actually went out. I think uh, it finally, uh, <laughs> creek got up and the whole wheel ended up down the creek. The actual alternator itself continued to work until it disappeared down the creek, so. We're not going to have that problem this time because the wheel is not going to be mounted in the creek. It's going to be mounted out of the creek, which makes more sense. Okay, so let's work on converting this alternator. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.